And this is a competitive abstract strategy game where players are going to be playing as different gnomes trying to collect different gems within a mine. And the way that this works is that the board's going to be randomly set up with a bunch of different mine shafts and players are going to be trying to move around the board, rotate and swap these cards in different ways in order to line up the different paths of the same types of gems. Because if you're able to do that, you'll be able to pick up all the gems lining up in a single path that share the same gems and those will each count towards victory points at the end of the game. At the start of the game, each player is going to have their own no meeple out on the board and then players are going to be taking turns performing a couple actions and the actions that you have available to you on your turn is to first move your no meeple to adjacent tiles or to modify the paths that you are either standing on or adjacent to by rotating or swapping those tiles and of course you're trying to do this in order to match up the different paths or to mess up paths for the other players. And there is a caveat to this because some of the tiles will have campfires on them and you can actually modify those tiles even though you're not standing on them which will allow you to get creative with moving some of the tiles that are further away and taking advantage of that to try and create longer paths. You also have the load cart action which just allows you to collect cards for a single path of resources that you were able to line up and this can actually be done even if you aren't located on those tiles so if you're able to do this somewhere else on the board you can still collect those tiles. But another really neat aspect of this game is that you can actually get yourself some bonus actions if you're able to end your turn on a tile that has an action associated with it. So some of the tiles might have some bonus abilities that you can take advantage of if you end your turn on them. And if players want to add a little bit of danger to their game, they can also add the goblin module. And at the end of each turn, you're going to be drawing a goblin card, and that's going to have some pre-programmed actions that the goblin is going to do. And the goblin will normally do things like move around the board, flip tiles over, and try to eat the other players players. With this module you're also going to have another action to flip cards back right side up so the goblin's just going to be getting in your way which could help or hinder you personally depending on how well you are able to mitigate the goblin compared to your opponents. Anytime that a player is able to collect tiles those are going to count as victory points at the end of the game and of course those tiles are going to get replaced to complete the board for the next turn and then at the end of the game the player with the most points will win the game. And if you're interested in this one, I have links in the description below.